Richard Elliott, Channel 2. Uh, this is a question for both of you, and it's somewhat related to that. You were talking about gun safety, trying to get uh, common sense gun laws passed in the legislature. Were you to be elected governor, you would be a Democratic governor, probably likely uh, with a Republican legislature. How do you work with a Republican, a, a, a more conservative Republican legislature to get not just gun safety, but other bills passed? As the House Democratic leader, it's been my responsibility for the last seven years to get good done working with Republicans wherever possible. And I'm proud to be the only person I know of who has an A rating from the Georgia Chamber of Commerce and got the Friend of Labor Award in the same year for the same work. Working with Republicans, I was able to pass legislation to protect our veterans. I was able to pass legislation to help kinship care families get the resources they need. I was able to secure for the first time in 40 years investment in transit through a Republican legislature. I was able to do that because I know that our responsibility is to work together for good. That often people don't care about your party, they care about their lives. And what I have done for the last seven years as a leader, but the last 11 years as a legislator, is find moments of common opportunity. But that has never stopped me from blocking bad Republican bills when they showed up. It's why under my leadership, no trap legislation to harm reproductive freedom ever passed our legislature. It's why I was able to personally block a tax bill that would have raised $150 million on working families. I will work with anyone to get good done, but I will always stand in the way of doing the wrong thing. Thank you. Let's try to keep our answers, if we could, to a one minute. Ms. Evans? Thank you. I will work with anyone of goodwill and good intention to do good for the state of Georgia. It's very important that any leader be willing to compromise, but we should never compromise our values. I worked with Republicans to help restore some of the disastrous cuts to the 2011 HOPE program, the cuts to HOPE in 2011. My opponent had sided with Republicans and compromised Democratic values to cut that program in 2011. Those cuts led to 97% of African American high school students losing access to full tuition HOPE scholarships and led to 40,000 students leaving our technical college system. That was a blow to the economy of this state to take so many that were on their way to get the skills and the training that they needed to get into the workforce and tick them out of the system. That's why I worked across the aisle to restore those cuts to expand the HOPE grant program and I will work across the aisle again to make sure that our families are getting what they need, access to higher education, expanding Medicaid so that more have access to insurance, and working to improve our public schools so that every child has the education that they deserve. Ms. Evans, do you have a rebuttal? I do. Unfortunately, my opponent continues to spread misinformation about what happened in 2011 and what happened after that. As leader, I fought to save hope to make certain 100% of students with a B average have access to HOPE, to make certain that 500,000 children, four-year-olds, continue to have access to pre-K. And then I co-sponsored the technical college legislation with my opponent, and she thanked me for my amazing leadership on that work. I credit Stacey Evans for doing good work on HOPE, but she has to admit she didn't do it alone. Yes. There's so much misinformation being put out here. Ms. Abrams did not ensure that 100% of those who had a B could get a HOPE scholarship. Before the cuts in 2011, 200 and nearly 250,000 students had access to a HOPE scholarship or grant. Even in her own commercial, she admits that today that number is 100,000. Those kids need HOPE. She worked with Republicans to save HOPE for those who were most likely to be able to go on and go to college anyway and, and did not work to make sure that those that were least likely to be able to afford a college education were able to still access it, and that was wrong.